Thank you. And as we mentioned, those winds knocked down several trees around the area. In fact, one fell on two people at a flea market. They are expected to be okay. Let's check in with NBC 4's Macy Jenkins, who has images of the damage that was left behind. Macy. Hi, Kathy. A windy day here in Los Angeles. Well, the wood here has all been cleared away, but this area is where that large tree was standing just earlier this afternoon. It came down with the wind, collapsed onto a booth here at the flea market in front of Fairfax High School onto two people. Now, both are okay, but organizers say if the tents and tables had not broken the tree's fall, things might have been much worse. There's somebody there, look. A young girl pinned underneath a massive tree, pushed to its breaking point by fierce wind. Dios mío. Raul Reynoso, a regular here at the Melrose Trading Post at Fairfax High School, says it happened just before 1 o'clock Sunday afternoon. He caught the aftermath on his cell phone. I was just sitting right next to it about uh, maybe six feet from the tree. I was having my coffee, and all of a sudden I heard this big crank. And I turned around and I saw the tree going down like in slow motion. That's when he saw a woman caught under the branches. A good Samaritan stepped in to guide her out. Watch her daughter, the girl in the pink sweatshirt, wiggle her way out and climb on top of the tree to safety. Yeah, she came out of there. She was like in shock. I don't even she came, well, how she came out of those branches. Thankfully, both walked away from the accident and were transported to the hospital for treatment. If you can't come the other, the other way, I don't think I'll be talking right now. All day, vendors described struggling to keep their merchandise in place. We were like tying things to the gate. We were tying things like with bungee cords, like just for the door not to swing open. Grace Palma using small sandbags to keep her clothing racks secure. Originally, I thought that a rainy day would be better, but today was pretty brutal. Seven miles away in North Hollywood, we found Anthony Cooper in disbelief outside of his home. Yeah. Yep. I think it just happened maybe about like 30 minutes ago. Yeah, about like 11 o'clock or so. His white Nissan sports car crushed by a downed tree near Lancashire and La Miata. I heard like the wind and I heard a crash and then I heard my, the alarm, but I didn't think it was my car. I thought it was somebody else's, but yeah, it was very special to me. But c'est la vie, I have to get another car. Many Angelinos still trying to process the windy weekend. I heard it was a wind advisory. I followed that very closely. I didn't think that it would result in these trees falling down like this. This is kind of uh, bizarre. The wind is not as strong as it, it was earlier, but it was still strong enough to bring down this cone here that is roping off the aftermath, the area of where this tree was standing. Earlier this afternoon, uh, security guards with LA Unified responded to the incident along with LAPD and LAFD. The organizers of this flea market say they believe the tree was dead, which would make it more vulnerable to the strong wind. Reporting live in Fairfax tonight, Macy Jenkins, NBC4 News.